As a ball, the eye pivots in all directions, locking onto moving targets. It does so with the help of unlikely allies, two cups of fat, shock absorbers for the eyeballs. Light enters through an aperture in the iris, an elastic mesh of interlocking fibers. In bright light, it snaps down to the size of a pinhole in a fifth of a second. Light hits the lens, not a hard disk, but a bag of fluid. The lens projects an image the size of a large postage stamp onto the retina at the back of the eye. Then, the retina, a mass of nerves, sends impulses to the brain. Surprisingly, the right eye signals the left side of the brain, and the left eye transmits to the right side. At the back of the eye, most of the retina consists of millions of rods. These cells see no color or detail. But let anything, anywhere, in our field of view move, and the rods spot it. The eyes swivel to look directly at the vehicle. Now other cells at mid-retina kick in. A pinhead-sized dot holds six million cells called cones. They're all about color and detail. And that's why when we look at something, we look directly at it because we have our highest visual acuity right in the center. This ability matters as much today as it did for our ancestors. Evolution left us with another skill, one that's still priceless. In the dark, we can make out the world with only the smallest of clues. Despite the darkness, Dan's eyes immediately start to adjust. They have amazing sensitivity. In complete darkness, from 14 miles away, we can detect the light from a single candle. Low light, we rely on the rod cells that cover most of the retina. Highly sensitive, they only register black and white. To see color, you use cone cells at the retina's center. We get all our color vision from being able to distinguish only three colors. The cones are sensitive to different colors. There's those that are particularly sensitive to blue light, those to green light, and those to red light. And they need a lot more light to fire. So if they get enough of the photons of the right color they fire and say to you, there's a spot of green or red or blue at this point. Using these red, blue, and green signals, the brain creates an impression spanning the entire visual spectrum. A range of over 10 million colors. This is what our brains do constantly. Fill gaps with data from our visual memory bank. In fact, our brain interprets most of our vision out of a lifetime of stored images. No computer can match human vision for its incredible power and range. The power of human sight comes from millions of years of evolution. We can't even understand it. And technology today can't begin to match the sophistication of our incredible eyes.